Hello everyone, I'm your host Boss Zombie. Welcome back to Hacker's Memory. Let's do that last uh, side mission that was up and available. Ghost Mixer. Planning a mixer, but I hear that there are ghosts at the venue. Could you find out for us? Yes. The client wants me to investigate a white ghost. I'll contact him and ask for details on the case. Is it Bakemon? Are you the hacker who took my case? I'm relieved that you look normal. I always imagined someone in your line of work would look scary. Oh yeah, the case. You know there's been a trend of kids doing dangerous things at parties lately. Don't you go to parties? Aren't you very good at talking to girls? Give me a call if you ever want to come to one. Not really a thing? Okay, but let me know if you change your mind. It's usually that me that organizes everything. I can get you in, no problem. One of those dangerous parties was held in Kowloon a little while ago. We plan to hold a similar one, but there's a rumor of a ghost at the venue we've chosen. I don't think it's true, but we'll have to change the venue if it is. I'd like you to investigate. I'm not good with ghosts and stuff like that. I wouldn't want any girls to see me get scared. If it's not true, then... Oh, these are to impress girls. Did you hear this place is haunted? Oh my god, that's so scary. Don't worry, I won't let any ghosts hurt you. Wow, you're so brave. They'll be eating out of the palm of my hand. Cheap? Maybe, but it doesn't matter. The girls probably wouldn't even believe it. If I use a ghost or use an angle, of course they'll see right through it. It's the oldest trick in the book. But romance has to start somewhere. Weird. Anyway, this is the venue. Keep me updated. I'm not sure I like his motives, but a case is a case. The venue is Kowloon Level 2. I'll go and find out the truth about this ghost. Boy, tons of messages. Oof. Quiz times, what happened to you give Miracle Me to a Digimon? I don't remember. I can actually just check. Hold on. I have Miracle Me. No, I have. Oh, there it is. Cam and a bit. I could have just used the. Ooh. Uh, okay. I need. Cam and ability. Making progress? Leave no stones unturned and there should be no ghosts. Yeah. Oh, just my parents knocking. My heart was in my throat. Weird guy. Still can't go that way. I forget. Did I get to fully explore Kowloon Level 2? I think I did. Um, cause I remember I had to fight all those dino, dino dummies, as I put it. And battle. No? Wow. No, there we go. I was going to say, no way I make it to this area with no fights. Dead. Also dead. What does ability do? I think it just increases the level cap for your Digimon. Something like that. I don't remember what. I bet if I go to. Where do I go? Where? Tutorial. Stats. No. Mm, doesn't look like there's actually anything on it, is there? Nope. I'll look it up on my own. I missed the first time I came through because I had the Cyber Dramon and it would just destroy everything before the fight even started. Those were good times. I guess we should check over here first because I know it's a dead end. Oop. Anything? That looks like it's my target. Hey, there is a Bakemon. All the way over there, huh? Ah. Kill, just kill, just kill, just kill. I wonder why these were chosen as our, like, bonus Digimon. The little 
mini royal knights. Ow. And why is it only like half of them? Like there's no Dynasmon or Craniumon or Exa... And a mini Examon would be interesting. I guess the one you get in the game that you can use basically is a mini Examon. Because if you could use the full size one, it would be ridiculous. Although you can get, I think in this game you can get like Armageddon and he's a giant one. Although he's probably shrunk down too. Just punch and kill and punch and kill and kill and punch. Hmm, that's a problem. Will that be there when I leave the battle? Well, if it is, I just got a sleep recovery, so let's see. Um, they don't look like... Wait, do they not... You know what? I didn't think about it, but do they not learn any moves as they level up? No, they have to because there's no... Wait, I know how I can check. If I go to the field guide... At the bottom, they must learn moves as they level up. Oh, level twenty, level twenty-five. That's pretty far. Ooh, final heal though. What do you learn? Perfect revival, also a great skill. So you're mostly combat. You're support, and you're a healer. Oh, it doesn't actually learn any offensive stat moves besides the two it starts with. But those other ones are both X, R, and Perfect Revival are fantastic. Weird. I'd love to know the idea behind the designs for these little... What are they? NX Digimon? I know they're based off some toys or something like that, but... I'd just love to know why they decided, hey, let's throw a bunch of these in the game. Hey, a Biomon. I should have attacked the Biomon with Leopard Mon. Whoops. That actually hurt. And now you're dead. Awesome. They won't learn another move until level 25, huh? That's rough. The problem is their SP has to really get boosted before then. Because they... It's a Bakemon and a Drachmon, it looks like. You look delicious. I wonder what your soul tastes like. Eek, don't come near me. You've strayed into my domain. You're shaking. Are you scared? <laughs> You're just a D Digimon. You don't scare me. This human also looks very tasty. Which one shall I devour first? Eek! Go on, Bakemon, eat their souls. They thought it would be fun to come looking for a ghost. Let's get out of here. We won't let you get away that easily. Hmm, shall I eat them one at a time? Or both at once? Either way is fine. Make them tremble even more. Stay back. Who are you? Have you come to let me eat you too? We were telling stories about a ghost. Of course. Oh, of course. I told Bakemon to scare the humans. Why? Because it's fun. Why else? The terrified look on their faces is hilarious. So you aren't really going to eat our souls? I can if you want me to. Eh? You want us to stop? No way. We're going to do it even more. And now we're fighting. Oh, they're fast. Ouch. Owie. That was rude. Uh, let's guard with Leopard Monk because these guys are viruses. In the meantime, let's use... Supreme Cannon. Wow, they suck. I was so ready to fight after that... Crazy... Wow, 8 experience to level 21, huh? 
That crazy Raramon fight. We we lost. Okay, I promise we won't scare any more humans. Please forgive us. Really, please believe us. Believe Drachmon, scare Drachmon. I'll believe you. Huh. It was just supposed to be a joke. I didn't think it would turn into such a disaster. Hey, what about us? You came in search of a ghost story. You found exactly what you were looking for. As we promised, we won't prank any more humans, but we'll still do it to Digimon. Don't look so shocked. He's a nasty piece of work. That's right, now you get it. He's off a little. Impossible. Bye, humans. Come on, Bakemon. I bet his soul would have tasted great. Can't believe those two. You really saved us there, thanks. That was a weird one. Hello. So there was no ghost yet after all. It was just a rumor. I look so down because the party didn't go well. The girl I like was there, but it seems like she's even more scared of ghosts than me. When I mentioned the ghost story, she got up and left. That just made me even more infatuated with her. But I don't, think, I don't think she has a good impression of me now. I've tried everything to contact her, but she won't respond. I think I'll just give up. Where did I go wrong? Could it be because she really hates ghosts? You think it's because I tried to use the ghost story as an angle to hit on her? But I always use that approach. Are you telling me, people, you're telling me it freaks people out? Yeah, that's stupid. I never thought about that before. I guess that tactic is a double-edged sword. Although I've never had any luck with a girl at a party, maybe it's time I rethink my approach. Since I wear glasses, maybe I can use, somehow use that to my advantage. Next time, I'll try playing the sophisticated intellectual type. Thanks for all your help. I think I'll be a big hit at the next party. Hey, why don't you come? No. You sure? That's too bad. Maybe it's for the best. I wouldn't want too much competition. Just you watch. The 94th party will be the one where I finally succeed. Oh my god. Dude's got problems. Okay, what do we got here? Pink. Yay. Alright, disappearing elevator. This elevator in the counter goes to a weird place where girls disappear. Find my sister. What? The kind is waiting at K Cafe. I'll see what they have to say. Lots of rhymes. Ah, I've been expecting you. Sorry to make you come all the way here. Welcome. Did you ask him to help with Rico's problem? Yeah, I'm sure he's the man for the job. This young lady is Rico, the client. Hello. Uh, it's my big sister. She's gone missing. I'll bring him up to speed. Have you heard the rumor about the elevator disappearances? No. It's more of an urban legend. It says people mysteriously disappear while riding an elevator and get taken into another dimension. Uh-oh. I don't know the details, but it's scary stuff. You two be careful when using elevators. You're heard about me? How kind. If you have to go missing, please make sure you pay me this month's wages first. Ah, so it's not me you're worried about. <laughs> um, oh, we got a little off topic there. Sorry about that. That urban legend has been doing the rounds in the counter for ages. Every school kid knows it. But it might be more than just an urban legend. It seems that Rico's sister went missing right in this building. And he was after getting in an elevator. I know what you're thinking. This is a matter for the police, not a hacker. Am I right? We reported it, but Rico's sister is 16. The police said she's probably just run away from home and staying with a friend. They're not interested. Terrible, right? They're wrong. She got in an elevator and then vanished. She must still be in this building somewhere. I told them everything, but they didn't believe me. Even my parents said she'll probably come back sooner or later. They're not worried. They, really must, they must really trust her. If I didn't go at home by the time my parents say, I'd be so grounded. I guess your parents don't trust you. I wish they'd stop treating me like a kid. Continue, Rico. I tried looking for her by myself, but couldn't find her anywhere. I was really upset, but he said he'll help me. I couldn't just stand by and do nothing. I tried asking with the police as well. They've recorded her as a runaway, but they're not actually doing anything to look for her. Rico, tell them about when she went missing. Well, we came here together. 
We're playing with the capsule machine on the first floor. My sister said, let's go to the arcade on the fourth floor. So we got in the elevator. The elevator? Is that when she vanished? Did you actually see it happen? Well, uh, don't rush her. Let her finish. And he'll be the one investigating. You'll be busy working here. You're right. I got ahead of myself. Sorry, Rico. What happened next? We took the elevator to the fourth floor, but something wasn't right. The cafe's on the fourth floor. Was there something unusual about this floor? Yeah, all the lights were off. It was pitch dark. Has there been a power outage lately? Not that I remember. What happened next? The corridor was completely dark, and that's not all. There was no one else there. It was scary, but we had to look around. This was the only place with any lights on. You mean K Cafe? Yeah, and we heard a dog barking inside. A dog? In here? That's impossible. There was one. When we got close to the door, a big black dog came out. Do you know anything about that? Have you been keeping a pet dog here? Of course not. You're here every day. You know. That's true. No, we haven't had any customers with a dog. I was scared, but my sister petted it. Then she went inside. I was about to follow her in when the door closed. I pushed it as hard as I could, but it wouldn't open. I called out to her, but she didn't answer, and I couldn't hear the dog either. I was super scared, so I ran back to the elevator. I wanted to get to another floor and find a grown-up to help. Quick thinking. Nothing like my boss. He got lost as soon as he stepped outside this building and ended up calling me in tears. Uh, Sachin, let's not talk about that right now. When I got in the elevator, the door closed by itself and the lights in the elevator went out. I didn't know what to do, but then the lights came back on and the door opened. Then what? The lights in the corridor were on and there were people in the corridor, in the stores, lots of people. They weren't even there a few seconds before. I ran to the cafe. I thought my sister would come back, but she didn't. Sachin and I are here as normal. We hadn't seen her sister or a dog. You don't believe me, just like the police? Of course I believe you. It's a Digimon, because that's this game's name. Thank you, you're so nice. I can think of two possibilities. A mysterious, disappe mysterious disappearance related to the occult, or an accident caused by an elevator malfunction. It's probably best to start with the most realistic one. The reason I hired Hudi is because I need someone to investigate the elevator control system. And just between you and me, wouldn't it be terrifying if it was something involving the occult? I use that elevator every day. I don't want to end up cursed or something. I wonder if a curse is only half as bad as if two people get cursed at the same time. You can't ignore what happened to Rico's sister. If I do get cursed, I just hope you're there with me. What are you whispering about? Oh, nothing. How about we retrace Rico and her sister's steps? It might help with the investigation. What do you mean? Just that. We recreate exactly what happened. Start by going down to the first floor and getting in the elevator. If the rumors are true, Rico's sister isn't the only person to disappear in mysterious circumstances. Let's do exactly the same thing and see if we can find anything unusual with the elevator control system. I think it's a good place to start. How about you? Yes. Okay, let's do it. Huh? Are you going too? What about the cafe? I'll leave you in charge. I have to go to get to the bottom of this Nakano mystery. No, wait. I mean to save Rico's sister. Okay, I'd usually ask for double pay, but as it's for Rico's sister, I'll let you off this time. But make sure you tell me as soon as you find something. I will. Alright, let's go. Is this the elevator you took? Yeah. Then let's get in. Is there another elevator in this building? You monitor the elevator control system. What did you do next, Rico? Uh, we pressed the fourth floor button. You or your sister? I tried to, but she did it. What do you mean? We need to recreate the exact same conditions. I wanted to press it, but I couldn't reach it, and I accidentally pressed the second and third floor buttons. Then my sister canceled them. It's possible to cancel a button once it's been pressed. Different elevators have different ways of doing it. You can cancel a button by pressing it three times. My sister's friend told her how to do it. Is that true? Is that a thing you can do in elevators? I never knew that. It's like a cheat code in a game. Interesting, isn't it? After I accidentally pressed the second and third floor buttons, my sister canceled them and pressed the third, fourth floor button. Do you remember which order she canceled them in? She did the second floor one first. Press the third, then the second, then the second floor three times, and the third floor three times. Find the fourth floor. This is what happened last time. Oh, spooky.
Looks like it worked. The elevator's moving. It stopped. How's the elevator control system looking? An error. There's definitely something strange going on. We might have hit the jackpot. Jackpot? Oh, nothing. Wonder where we are. Proceed with caution. Lights are on, but there's no one here. At first glance, it looks exactly like the fourth floor we just came from, but something about it doesn't feel quite right. It was pitch dark last time, but this feels just like when my sister disappeared. I see, so you and your sister were exploring this floor when you encountered the dog at K Cafe. Yeah, there was no one around, just like now. It was so scary. Don't worry, we're with you this time. Zombie, I'm intrigued to know what's going on in K Cafe, but let's investigate this first floor. This floor first, just like Rico and her sister did. Let's go to the arcade and back. Come on, Rico. How come they don't ever answer me? They're supposed to tell me if I got them right. There's not a single person just like when I was here with my sister. All we could hear was the sound of our own footsteps. Oh, that would be pretty spooky. It's so strange. This place is usually bustling with people, but now it's completely deserted. It looks like exactly the same situation as when Rico came with her sister. Zombie, let's head for K Cafe. Oh, spooky, spooky, spooky. Is Metal Guy here? Excuse me? What's that terrifying howl? It sounds like it came from K Cafe. The door won't open. What's going on? Try knocking. You do it. If it won't open, I give you permission to smash it. I'm not completely sure it's my cafe, but it looks like it. In any case, don't hold back. This should be interesting. Oh. No, oh, digital space. What the? This isn't K Cafe. Cyberspace? How could you be in cyberspace without logging in? Let's keep going. We have to find Rico's sister. You lead the way. Keep your wits about you. You got it, cafe shop owner guy. Oh, scary sounds. Oh, sand guard. Oh, okay. I have an item for equipment. Anything on this? Oh. Oh, V-Mon and, Arma and Armadillo-Mon. Oh, my guys need to heal. I didn't realize. Ooh. Although, this should be pretty close to... Nice miss. They should be pretty close to leveling up, right? What did Armadillo-Mon become? Ankylo-Mon? I think? Yeah. Nice flip. Well, he leveled up, but he's not the one I wanted to level up. I mean, he is, but... It should have been more balanced. Okay, well, that's a dead end. Hmm. What the hell is that thing? I was expecting a black Garurumon, like we saw before, but that's not... What is that thing? It has, like, knives on its feet. Can I avoid it and go this way? I can. Let's get the items. Farm development kit. Sweet. I got two of those now, I think. Oh, Hawkmon and... Huh. Ah. Oh! And, uh, Patamon. We're just getting all the Digidefs and Digimon on this one, huh? Oof. Anything over here? I was half expecting to see Mr. Nabbit, but I guess Mr. Nabbit only appears in main Eden areas. Oh, it's in the Tamamon Trio. 
All right, everyone dies. God. Ow. How did he do so much? That was... I guess these guys are just really weak. Boom. Okay, we'll fight whatever that thing is in the next episode. It's like a vampire dog. With knife feet. Feet knives. I don't know. Foot knives. Either way, thanks for joining me. Come back on the next step up real soon. But until then, bye.